hey friends, today I want to share with you my homeschool planner. So the journey to find a homeschool planner that was going to work the best for me was a long one. I went back and forth with a lot of different planners. I spent a ton of time looking on YouTube and Pinterest uh, to see reviews and to see how other moms plan when it came to homeschooling. And I went about looking for the perfect planner that would work for the style of planning that I like to do and that I thought would function best for me. I also, I'm a planner girl, I have always loved planning, so it was really important for me to have a system that functioned really well, <laughs> but also was pretty and eye-catching and something that I wanted to spend time looking at because homeschooling is a huge part of our day and I want to feel inspired. I went back and forth with a lot of different options and my heart was really set on the Erin Condren Teaching Planner or the Plum Paper Planner. However, I didn't want to spend all of the money and I'm not opposed at all to spending money on planners. However, I loved the Erin Condren one. It was my favorite, but it wasn't made for homeschoolers and I realized that I would have to do a lot of customization in order for it to work for me and there would be pages that I didn't use and I wasn't crazy about the idea of customizing something that I spent so much money on. So what I decided to do, if you are familiar with Erin Condren, you can tell that this is an Erin Condren product. I had a gift card to Erin Condren and what I decided to do was purchase their deluxe monthly planner. I knew that I was gonna need a really good calendar for homeschooling and I'm the type of person who writes really big and I like to have a lot of space to write so I wanted to go with a large size planner so this is the eight and a half by eleven deluxe monthly planner from Erin Condren now I'd already had a deluxe monthly planner so I knew that after the months and I'll go ahead and open it up and show you but I knew that after the months there wasn't a significant amount of space to write like a daily sort of plan for the day. It only provides a few spaces for you to actually write things for that particular month. So I knew it wasn't going to fully work for me. So what I ended up doing was creating my own printables for how I like to plan and that is everything that I'm going to share with you in this video. Okay, so here is a look at the Deluxe Monthly Planner. So I decided to go with a navy custom colorway with hot pink writing. This is what the back looks like. And you can customize these planners to actually have a picture on the front or back. So we have named our homeschool Abundant Life Academy. And it is taken from the Bible verse John 10.10, 10, which is one of my all-time favorite verses. Um, and our tagline is living and learning fully in Christ. So let me take you inside my planner. Okay, so on the inside cover, you actually have a write-on sort of dashboard. I don't have anything written on here yet. You need sort of the um, dry erase markers that won't um, erase, you know, just if you touch it. The brand, I think it's called Vis-a-Vis -Viz or something like that, um, that works perfect for this. I don't have any of those yet. I do actually have some on order from Erin Condren though, so um, I will just use her brand of markers simply because it was easier to order them than to go and um, check the stores and trying to find what I was looking for. But on this page, um, we can write Bible verses, we can write our schedule for the day, whatever we feel like doing. Um, I don't have a plan for this yet, but I'm maybe thinking that we might um, write our Bible verses. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure yet. On the next page, it allows you to write your name, um, and I love this painted petals design. The planner itself is filled with lots of really great quotes, and it's really inspiring. There is a um, there's a 2017 2018 calendar in here that you can go ahead and write out your homeschool year in, and that's what I do plan to do. There are actually transparent stickers that you can purchase from different sticker companies on Etsy. Um, Chrissy Ann Designs is one that I know makes them, um, and you can kind of map out your year. For instance, um, you can kind of use color coding to denote when you have days off or when you're doing breaks or there's holidays um, and different terms and things like that. And so eventually I will have this all mapped out. I probably won't purchase the extra stickers. I'll probably just use some of my Papermate flares to kind of denote all of that. But 
that's one idea to use for these pages. Next, we've got this section where you can use it however you want. Um, you could actually use each of these boxes as a different month of the year, and you can write your plans for the year. You could write, I mean, really the sky is li the limit. Um, there are no lines on these boxes, which really kind of drives me crazy because I tend to write all over the place. I sort of have like an uphill slant when I write, um, but I love that they have allowed you to customize this however you want. And then in all of the planners, they do have grid paper. I'm not a huge fan of grid paper, but I'm sure we'll use this somehow. Here is a look at the beginning of the month. So you can choose what month your Deluxe Monthly Planner starts in. I chose to have it start in August because that is when I would um, when we started homeschooling. They do have a little flag here that um, denotes what month it is. And you can also purchase tabs from the Erin Condra website so you can actually tab your planner um, so that it has all of the months in it, which is something I may look into doing in the future. So this is a look at the entire monthly spread. Um, nice large boxes, it has a beautiful colorway, lots of space on the side to write. It's really thick, thick paper. They have went with Mohawk Paper Company for their paper this year and Mohawk also does um, Emily Lay's planners and it's really thick, it's really quality. I have bought Air Condren planners for years now um, and this is the best quality paper that they have had in a long time. So this is what it looks like after the monthly view. You get one, two, three, four, five boxes and it's sort of like a horizontal layout. It has um, dots here for check marks so you could write the date really tiny in there. The way that I have been using it is that I have used these five boxes for when we have a special event for our homeschooling. For, in for instance, we've had a couple field trips already, we've had some projects that we wanted to do, and what I do is I write all of that information in one of these boxes. I'm not going to show you because that is a lot of personal information, um, but I will write the date, I will write the event here, and then I will write all of the pertinent information I need into this particular box. And, and I like to use the different colored Papermate flares that I have to just give this a little bit of color. So one time I'll write blue, one time will be green, one time will be pink, you kind of get the idea. So that is how I'm using these pages. These are sort of like the special events or the projects or the field trips that we are going on. And then I know that I always have that information right on these pages right here. On the very other side, you've got a sheet of paper. This is just lined paper where you can write lists or you can write whatever you need on here. And then on this side, this is sort of a to-do list style format. You can write whatever sort of list you need and it's bulleted so that you can check things off or whatever you need. I love the flexibility of these pages where you can just really customize it for your use. Now, these are the only two pages that you get with your monthly view. So that is it. When you flip it over, you've got your grid sheet and then you have got your next month's calendar portion. So inside of my planner, I also have this school tracker and this is a dashboard from the Erin Condren website that I did opt to purchase separately. It is school related. Now, um, I haven't wrote on this yet, again, because I don't have those markers, but they should be coming soon. But it is a really handy spot to put your top priorities, a key, you've got your classes, assignments, due dates, things to remember. Um, and then on the other side, and then on the other side, you can write your schedule for the week. You've got long-term assignments, upcoming quizzes and tests, and a box for next week. So I feel like this could be a really handy dashboard as a homeschooling mom that I can just kind of brain dump and have our whole entire week and any upcoming projects listed on this particular sheet. Now this pops just right into your coil. The thing about Erin Condren products, um, their planners, they... the covers come off and you can customize and switch out your covers. So if you're somebody who say like really is into a particular holiday, like let's just say Christmas, 
and you had a Christmas themed cover, you could change out your cover to a Christmas themed cover when it came time for that particular holiday or that particular season. Or if you just really like to switch things up, that is kind of the beauty of their products is that you can change your covers. So this just snaps right in. and you're good to go. The really great thing about Erin Condren products is that they have all kinds of attachments that you can use within your planners. Um, there are different sticky pockets that you can stick to the outside or inside of your covers. You can, um, there's all kinds of different dashboards that you can use. There are things called coil clips that allow you to clip a particular thing into your planner, like a sheet of paper. Um, so you can really customize your planner how you need it to be for you. So if we had a particular sheet of paper that we needed for a field trip and I had to have that paper on hand, I would stick it either into a pocket in my planner or I would just attach it with this coil clip. And then I've always got it. So this is one thing I did to customize my planner. When I ordered this deluxe monthly planner, I had to order my covers separately because they did not have the teacher cover planners available with the deluxe monthly planner. So I actually had my planner come with the painted petals. I love this design. I think it's so beautiful. And because I wasn't using the covers, I opted to use them as dividers in my planner itself. Because I've got this beautiful um, dashboard here that I can write more things on it. So I just used, this is the back cover of the planner. I used it to divide the, what month is this? December, I believe. December, between December and the notebook paper. So in the deluxe monthly planner, there is a bunch of notebook paper that comes with your planner, which is really great for planning. And I use that cover to divide the two sides. With, with a deluxe monthly planner, you can actually get more paper for $5. I believe it's um, another 40 sheets. I'm not sure, but it's around that. Um, but you can use, you can spend extra to get more paper if you need that. So then at the end of every planner, they always have stickers, and these are the ones that come with the Deluxe Monthly Planner. They match the different months of the, of the, they match the different months. And then you have a folder, and this comes standard in the Deluxe Monthly Planner. It is hooked right in here, again with another board that you can write whatever on. So that is the deluxe monthly planner and again this is for all of my monthly planning and for field trips and special projects and now I'm going to share with you my binder and so this is for my daily planning and how I'm really diving deep into planning for my homeschool so I've had this binder for a really long time I don't know if it's coming up very well on the screen but it is a silver glitter binder <laughs> And inside it is this bright hot pink color that goes again really well with my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. I picked up the, um, several of these notebooks from Target this year. They're just Mead notebooks. I like the college rules because I like them to be, um, I, I don't like a lot of space in between my writing. so. Uh, I have several of these and I just have this kind of sitting on top. This binder is only a one inch binder and it's really packed full so I don't have this um, hooked in but I have it available if I need some extra paper to write with. Okay so let's dive in to the principles. So again our homeschool is Abundant Life Academy so I just made sort of this page to have right in the front. I'm sorry if you can hear my kiddos screaming in the background, you know, <laughs> hashtag mom life. I made all of my printables on PowerPoint. I'm new to designing in PowerPoint, but I actually really, really like it. So I made a cover sheet for my planner. Um, again, I went with Abundant Life Academy, which is our homeschool name, and I just added some clip art and kind of designed something fun. I have slipped all of the papers inside of sheet protectors. Um, I opted to do that rather than messing with a three-hole punch. It just makes everything line up really well, and I don't have a three-hole punch, so but I had lots of sheet protectors on hand, so it kept my cost down. 
So the next page is my monthly planner. I will go ahead and write um, birthdays or field trips or holidays, anything that I need to make sure stands out to me at the beginning of a month. So then we get into the weekly planning. I apologize that this isn't a really great angle for this, but I didn't make these sheets. I actually purchased them on Etsy. I loved the gal's design that she made. She actually has a teacher planner. I fell in love with it, and had I not already designed everything myself, I may have went with her products because they were just so cute and colorful. I will have that information linked down below. But I did love her lesson planning pages, and they are working really great for me. So I was in the middle of planning for this upcoming week, and I decided to um, just keep this page in here. This is from last week, and this is the new one for this upcoming week. I had some sensitive information, um, so I just decided to make it make it look like this. You can see what you can see, and <laughs> the sensitive stuff is out of here. Um, so there's the opportunity to write what week it is as well as the date. Um, we can write all of our subjects across the top, and there's plenty of space to write the page numbers and what we're learning into these boxes. Now as far as how I lay this all out, I have everything, I have um, several of these printed back to back so that um, I'm saving as much paper as possible. I um, have them in my sheet protectors rather than punching them in. And so what I do is I start one week on one page and then I have the next, well, here's a, here's the blank one. Um, technically this should be my lesson planning sheet um, that I'm actually working on, but they all just kind of line up and I keep two weeks in at a time. And that's about how far out I plan is only two weeks at a time. Okay, so then I made these lesson plan sheets, and these are for when I really need to dive deep into a lesson. In particular, we're doing a lot of things with um, our science and geography that we don't necessarily, that we're kind of going off curriculum or we don't have a curriculum for. So I want to be more detailed within those lesson plans. This sort of system won't work for everybody, um, and it won't work for all of our subjects, but it will work for some. I just printed off several of these lesson planning sheets and I have them all inside of this particular sheet. Now, next I have a sheet for our monthly goals and my hope is that each month I will put out our monthly goals and we'll be able to reference back to that when things are stressful and I you know, really need some focus back on what we're doing. I can refer to my monthly goals. I do have um, this little spot here where I can write the month and I can write whatever I need, but there's just a couple spaces right there. On the back, I've actually created my own note paper so that if I need to go on to the other side, I just um, simply will have this note paper. Like I mentioned earlier, I write uphill. Um, I really need lines, so I just double-sided printed these, so this is only just one sheet. A read-aloud list and then these have check boxes on the side so we can check things off as we read them. And as you can see, I haven't filled this out yet because I wanted to be able to show you what this looks like without a whole bunch of writing in it. Then we have um, Bible and character. And again, on the back is always that note paper. Scripture memory. So I've got one for field trips. And this is a sheet that I can kind of brainstorm field trips, not necessarily um, will I fill out one of these pages for each field trip that we do? However, if needed, like if I need all of that information, I certainly will, but for the most part, this will just kind of be brainstorming some ideas. Preschool, I sort of am calling it taught school at this point, but we have preschool, our morning time, reading, grammar, language arts, writing, handwriting, geography, science, art and creativity, music, program study, curriculum. This is a spot where I will write curriculum ideas for next year 
or my thoughts on the curriculum that we have now, things that I would change or tweak or keep but maybe add something to. Unit study plans. Our classroom. So this again is for ideas for our classroom for next year. Holidays. Next school year. So this is just kind of a general overview for next year. And then I have more note paper that I've created in the back. Now, as you can see, I love to just, I just love to write. Um, and that's the problem that I was having with a lot of traditional homeschool planners is that it was just a bunch of boxes that I needed to fit all of my big ideas into. And it was just too confining for me. I just really, when it comes to planning, I've noticed about myself that I love to have a good calendar and I love to have a notebook. And that notebook just allows me to write and write and write. And that's what I needed when it came to a homeschool planner. So while these sheets may not have um, lots of specifics on them, it is enough space for me to just write whatever I need to write and to brainstorm whatever I need to brainstorm and to use my brain and work my brain how it works best. So having lots of space to write is what um, really just kind of fuels me. So um, I've got a bit of note paper in here and then I've got these folders. Again, these folders came from Target um, and they are the Mead brand, so they do match the notebook. And I love these folders because they actually have these um, pockets in them. So your papers, once they're in here, they're not going anywhere. And I love that, that is just so awesome. So for because I use this lesson planner daily, I have next week's, um, some of next week's handouts already in here. Now these will go into my daughter's work box, but until they do, I have them in here. And I've got two folders, and in the back of this one, this is more of my lesson planning sheets that I've already got printed and ready to go. And again, that awesome tab that just keeps them in there. So if this notebook were to fall over, I'm not worried about these falling out. So there is my planning system. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. I've got a little guy who came here into the classroom with me right now. So I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you in my next video. Bye.